In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to build a Emotes GUI in Roblox Studio. So this is really simple and easy to do, and it's really customizable and fun. So I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Now, the first thing that you need to do is make sure you watch the whole video to the end, because if you don't, you might mess something up and it might ruin your whole game or something like that. So make sure that you watch the whole video so you get it all correct. Now, once you've once you've committed to watching the video, what we want to do is we want to go over to Avatar and we want to go to Rig Builder. Now you can pick whichever one you want. I'm just going to go for a block one here, but you could go for mesh if you wanted to. You can pick what you want. Now, here we've got our, our character um, and from here we want to animate the emote we want it to do. So I'm just going to put it on the floor. Um, you can obviously download your own animations, but I'm going to make mine from scratch. So I'm going to go to the animator here. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to call this one. Um, let's call this one dab and we'll make him do a dab. So I'm going to uh, click on his arm and I'm going to obviously, oops, wrong one. I'm going to rotate it up here. I'm just going to go across here like this, move it up a little bit. Kind of want his that that'll be good there. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll push it away from his face a little bit if I can do that. I think that'll be all right. All right, the next arm I'm going to lift this one up here, up here, and I'm going to bring this out here. It looks a little bit weird like that, so I'm just going to move it this way a little bit. Right, now we can rotate it again. I'm going to make his forearm go in a little bit like this. Right, cool. So that's kind of like a good dab, I think. I'm going to make his head go down into it as well, because I feel like when you dab, you push your head down a little bit. Yeah, that's looking cool. It's looking nice. Maybe put a little bit more down into it. So yeah, that's a cool dab. I think that'll be a cool dab for the um, for the emote. You could even get him to like squat down a little bit, uh, move his legs. But I think for now that's good. Um, now from here we can actually. This is going to be the final point, so I'm going to move this along here. Uh, I need to. Go back to the original here. I'm gonna so okay, nice. Probably put this back here about like this. Put the hands back to how they were. I should have done this bit first, but I'll just do this bit now. It's fine. Okay, that'll be fine like that. And then we can move his arm. Oh. Um, there, 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 move his forearm in like this, um, nice, okay, so it's going to go like that, that's going to be our dab, make this, I'm going to make it a little bit faster, I'll move it down here, and maybe one more slower, Okay, so that's our dab there. Cool. So we've made the dab animation here itself. From here, we want to go to these three dots here. We want to go down to set animation priority, put it in action. Then we want to go and publish to Roblox. And I'm going to just call this dab1. And I'm going to submit this. From here, we need to copy this ID here. So I'm going to copy this ID and then close this. Okay, so from here, we want to go into the toolbox here and search emote GUI. It looks like this one. We're going to click it and we're going to add this in like this. Um, so we need to click this and drag this into start GUI. So I'm just going to close these. We've got start GUI. I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to ungroup it in here. Um, cool. So we've got this now. So this is the... Um, this is the sort of uh, the GUI up here. Now, what we can do from here, we can customize it to our liking. If you want to change the color of it, uh, what you can do that. 
I do like this. You can also um, change the transparency, which is a pretty good one to do, especially if it's like a game. Here you go. You can change the size of it to make it a little bit smaller or bigger, whatever you want to do. Or if you've only got two, for example, you can just put this up here like this. So, you know, fiddle around with the settings of it just like that. Um, okay, nice. So, in the script, we're going to need to do some edits here. So, I'll show you what to do with that. Okay, so what I want to do from here, once I've resized this all, is we can actually... Um, we can create uh we can duplicate this so we can duplicate this one here and then i can drag this down that's going to be a different one so if you have like a different emote we can put that in there so uh, let's say we have one called like um kick or something i don't know kick for example uh, you'd go down change it to that and then you change the content name in here you change this to kick and then you would have that as well so what we want to do now that we've got this dab one up here set up is we want to go here and we want to go down we want to go down here go down to dab animation and then over here we want to paste the code for the animation that we've just made so post that here like this and I can hit play now and I can show you how it works so if I walk around here like this I can now click dab and my dab animation is going to work now these ones don't well, this one's going to be the same one because it's got the same um, animation ID. But this one's not going to work. But dab is going to work. So you see, I've got dab here working. Now, I can hit stop on here like this, and that's how you do that. Now, I can I can also create a wave one. So I'll show you how to do that now. I'm going to click here. Um, I'm going to click on to create new. I'm going to call this one wave. And you can edit this really step by step. So... I'm gonna add, a, I'm gonna add um, a keyframe here for all the body. Um, or do this, and then I'm gonna create the wave effect here. So I'm gonna have his arm go up here. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have his hand go up here like this. Starts like this. I'm gonna make it pretty fast, so it's like quite fluid. This is going to be here by here. Oops. Now I need to click on this one. And now we can change this. So this is pointing up now, and this one's pointing down. For example, like this. And then at the same time, this one should be up about here. And we'll change it so now this is at the top. Um, actually, we'll change it so this one goes down now. Click it down so it goes down. And then this one here. Once we go in like that, and then we'll move it along a little bit. And then... So we'll have this, have it whipping up like this, have it moving like this. Here, this one can be fully down. And then we can go here. Now, this is not going to be a perfect animation, but I'm just showing you quickly. So it'll look like something like this. So it's actually, I'll move this one over here by one. And then I'll go down like this. And I'll move the whole arm down to here. So the yeah, animation looks like this. If I turn this off, you'll be able to see. It's just like a Mexican wave kind of thing. Um, so I can actually loop this. That's pretty cool. Cool. So now I can export I can publish this or oh, I need to set the animation priority to action I can go here to publish the Roblox and I'm going to call this one wave one I'm going to submit this here like this 
copy the ID here, press close, click on wave here. Oh, oops, I need to go to the GUI. Emo uh, where am I going? Emotes GUI, I need to go down to wave. Go down to here, animation, and then put the ID in here like this. Boom, and now I can hit play and we're gonna be ready to see our animation work. So first of all, let's try it out. We got dab, cool, and we got wave. Nice. And look, you see that the wave one is looping. So that's how you do it. Now, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, then be sure to like and subscribe. And also comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.